So, hello, my dear all, dear all students. How are you? Hello, Gracie and Sahin. Good evening. Good evening, all. Good evening. So, how are you all? Great. Hello, we know. So yesterday you were at Saints, right? Okay, so I gave you one uh, main question yesterday class. Have you tried to practice it? Have you written anyone? Gracie, Sahin, Menelo, we know you have written. Okay, so I did not see in your answers. And you you wrote the answer and you keep it by yourself, huh? Then who will tell you the mistakes? No, 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 no. Don't give me anything in my personal WhatsApp, okay? I think there is a group or you can ask to the institute coordinator that where to submit the answer, okay? Okay, so please don't keep the writing answer with yourself, okay? then there is no point of writing if someone is not telling you what you need to be improved and what can be uh, you can do for the better marks okay so you can uh, coordinate with the institute and then they will tell you that where to submit the main answer writing okay so please don't send anything in my personal whatsapp okay 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 fine Open first, chapter first, okay. So guys, in the yesterday class, we understand what is the modernity. We understand the sociological perspective of on modernity, like what about the Karl Marx, Emily Durkheim, and uh, Ferdinand Tonis, George Seamel, Max Weber. So in the last class, we understand that modernity is something rational transformation if we are talking about the Durkheim, Durkheim says the complete transformation of the society and complete transformation means the various aspect of the society like social political economical or psychological transformation of the society okay we understand Weber Weber says the transformation of society from agrarian to industrial. Agrarian means earlier society was agriculture. Okay, based on the agricultural economy. And there was agricultural revolution before the 
industrial revolution okay then society emerged into the industrial society so this is called modernity this is the viewpoint of max weber if we are talking about the karl marx we understand karl marx says every social institution in the market like family marriage religion education casteism everything is a marketable goods in the society so actually modernity is the best tool for bourgeois class or the capitalist class and they use it for the gaining of more and more surplus and finally exploitation of the proletariat class okay ferdinand tony sees the modernity with the transformation of gemin shaft to gesell shaft society gemin shaft is a simple society the village society to complex society or industrial society okay then later on we understand george simmel george simmel see the modernity on two aspect the one is urbanization and second is dissemination of money economy it means george simmel says if you are saying there is a modernity in the society so though two components are most important the one component is urbanization the more and more growth of population in the city area and second is circulation of money or the money economy in the market more globalization more opportunity more industry more factory more crowded place more technology innovation so george simmel says this is actually called as modernity okay so this is what we understand in the last class okay i hope if you uh, some people miss the class so you can see uh, the Uh, previous lecture or something like that okay but don't miss any class don't miss any class if you miss single lecture it means see sociology is not like that you can start from anywhere sociology is interrelated okay so if you miss any lecture it will be a great loss of yours okay so today uh, in the last class we understand modernity in today's class we will see the social change social change in europe okay you are uh, you have the copy of slavers in the slavers the first topic is modernity you understand modernity sociological perspective on modernity this topic we had completed we ha we had seen the characteristics of modernity social modernity political modernity economic modernity and psychological modernity i have given the two question for writing okay if you have not done please ask to the people who have attended the class okay and now the second topic is social change in europe okay and then we will see that how the sociology emerged after this social change then our first topic will be completed okay yes yes this one is important in uh, your previous paper like 2016 and 2015 there was the question that how the europe society change based on industrial revolution and french revolution okay and the second question was this the characteristics of industrial revolution so this kind of question can ask in the paper and the one more thing in 2021 2022 paper last year paper the question was discuss the contribution of intellectuals in the emergence of discipline sociology okay so you understand this topic is itself an important topic every topic in sociology is important so now come to the point social change in europe so my dear students you understand the dark age dark age means the 5 to 15 century hai na the 5 to 15 century it means in the dark age the society was submerged with the social level multiple social level superstitious nature no education no awareness no literary source nothing no architecture hai right? na so renaissance period begin from 14th century to 17th century and modernity begin from 17 or mid of 18th century to uh, 20th century Anna? and today's the era of post modernism agree okay so social 
change in Europe. Social change in Europe is happened due to the one great social event or economic event is industrial revolution. Industrial revolution. I don't know, have you studied it earlier in NCRT or as well as uh, in GS paper first history? History teacher will tell you the complete brief cause impact of industrial revolution. No doubt I will tell you. Hmm? The social change in Europe is due to the first is industrial revolution. Now you can listen me. Now my voice is clear. Okay. Thank you, Vinu. Thank you. Okay. So social change in Europe means what are the factors that make the social change in the Europe? Actually, the social change happened in the Western society first, but it made impact in the global way. And it is the further become the cause of global consequences. Okay. So, there are two factors. The one is economic factor, which is due to the industrial revolution. So, it means the economic changes in the society. And second is French Revolution. French Revolution is the political upheaval. It means the economic and political change are the major change in the Western or Europe society. And due to this change, the society of England became more powerful because of industrial revolution, more economic strength, more stable economy. 95% of England people were very happy and due to the French revolution, the French revolution is the biggest shift in the political era because the France was under the king or queen monarchy system and after the French Revolution the society become constitutional monarchy okay and later on there was the French constitution which was based on the liberty equality and fraternity okay so social change in Europe is due to the these two important happening in the past plus intellectual idea enlightened people enlightened people intellectual intellectual ideas or enlightened people enlightened people means montesquieu rousseau Holmes, law gagas comte saint simon uh, Durkin, king karl marx herbert spencer these all are the intellectual people so the, you can say as a social thinker so intellectual ideas plus industrial revolution or french revolution these are the important happening in the western society called Europe and this leads to the emergence of discipline called sociology. Okay, and that is why sociology, the birth of sociology happened in Europe, happened in France first. So, the birthplace of sociology is France and that is why Today, although in today era, the call universities like IIT in India, okay, so call university is the topmost university of France where they offer the sociology course and yeah. you can make your bright future okay, if you want to go in the academic line. So apart from this thing, we continue our lecture, okay. So now you understand the Europe is basically... Uh, there was the renaissance or the boom period is due to the industrial and French revolution plus intellectual ideas which gave the birth to sociology. So first we will understand what are the intellectual ideas which contributed in the field of sociology. Then we will see the industrial revolution because 10 marks question came from this section 
and then we understand the French Revolution and then I will tell you the uh, complete picture of emergence of sociology. Then your first topic will complete. Okay. So please put the heading. Um, we will write something for this and then we will see what are the intellectual contribution in the sociology. Okay. So please do write the social change the social change in europe the social change in europe is due to is due to major major changes in economic and political affair the social change in europe is due to the major change in economic and political level the two events one is industrial revolution industrial revolution second is french revolution first is industrial revolution Second is French Revolution. Industrial Revolution is economic change and French Revolution is political, major political change. These two events put the impact on global society. Not only the West society but the global society. Okay. So, Industrial Revolution and French Revolution. Also, the ideas of intellectuals. Also, the ideas of intellectual or enlightened or enlightened please have you written done the social change in Europe is due to the major change in economic and political upheaval the two events industrial revolution and French revolution Industrial revolution is economic change and French revolution is political change. Okay. Also the ideas of intellectual enlightened contributed contributed in the birth of subject sociology. That is why sociology is called as a western subject, new subject. It is not older like the history, geography, polity and all. Okay, it's a new subject. It's a youngster subject. Okay. Contributed in the, contributed in the birth of subject sociology. In the birth of subject sociology. During, during, 15th century Europe or West was suffered with dark age of society. Dark age of society means no no education no education social levels multiple social levels multiple social levels no literary work no architecture no architecture Sector. No architecture of sector. Okay, done. From 15th century to 17th century. 15th century to 17th century means the end of dark age and beginning of modernity. 
so the middle age is called as renaissance period see revolution is not happened overnight <laughs> in contemporary time with your beauty face you can do viral overnight but the major shift in the society cannot be done overnight so revolution renaissance shifting of society is happened gradually it takes lot of years like 30 to 100 years okay so from 15th century to 17th century mean the end of dark age end of dark age and beginning of modern and beginning of modernity modernity okay. so this period is modernity is called renaissance period is called renaissance is called renaissance period okay and from 17 or 18th century to 20th century is called modernity age right so from 15th century to 17th century end of dark age and beginning of modernity is called as renaissance now you understand what is the renaissance period ha huh? and uh, middle of middle of 18th century middle of 18th century means 1760 1750 the modernity started so huh? middle of 18th century society <laughs> society west society West society shifted to modernity or industrial industrial society from agrarian society. Okay, from agrarian society. Okay. Done. Mm-hmm. Great. Next point. Next paragraph. Okay. We can say the social change is major. major renaissance in west or europe society or europe society whose impact can be seen can be seen in global mass okay obviously industrial revolution and french revolution is because of uh, uh, it put the impact on the global market understand okay. so whose impact can be seen in the global market or global consequences you can write anything okay so we can say the social change is major renaissance in west or europe country society where in, uh, whose impact can be seen in global market okay so the change in the europe is not to be uh, isolated to the west society but it spread in the whole world okay done done yes please great industrial revolution is is the major economic revolution in europe which makes europe society which makes europe society stable economically and the political shifting 
15 in France. Yes. The major change, major change of modernity. Major change of modernity. Okay. Done. Great. So now put the heading Intellectuals, Intellectuals Contribution in the Emergence of Sociology. Intellectual contribution 2021 multiple times question came in the paper i told you now in the paper first whatever i am teaching you will see in your book but in paper second maximum current affair maximum contemporary issues are there you have to write in sociological perspective so the yojana Purushetra and the Hindu newspaper will play the very vital role in paper second. But no doubt we will do the static part and whatever the important part in the contemporary section that I, some parts I will come. Okay. So the intellectual contribution in the emergence of sociology. Had you written the uh, this uh, heading? Great. So intellectual intellectuals contribution in the emergence of sociology what do you understand by this see if you want to change in the society then you always remember there are the two factors which can make change in the society the one is social thinkers or intellectuals intellectuals observe the society they keep writing and they change the psychology of the people. Try to understand. If there was no slogan, Beti Bachao, Beti Padhao, then how society understand the importance of girl child? And I don't think the Haryana sex ratio will increase after this slogan. So intellectuals. The intellectuals who always observe who keep writing, who try to change the psychology of people, have the biggest contribution in the change in any society. You, we all are Indians. Have you know Ravindranath Tagore? Huh? Bankim Chandra Chatterjee? Huh? You hear na, these words, these poet or some poet is Sarojini Naidu. Hmm? These people, these people are what? Intellectual. So intellectuals keep writing. And when you understand their writing, it change your psychology, it change your way of thinking. This is what the intellectual contribute in the society. So this is the first fact. For any change in the society, the intellectual contribution is a major contribution. Second thing is, the people who started the protest, the people who uh, do uh, struggles, protest, satyagra, so these are the people who put and keep changes in the society. So these are the two factors which always change in the, which always make change in the society. Okay, you can see. Have you hear, heard the Farmers Bill 2020? New Farmers Bill. The farmers of Punjab and Haryana, they uh, close the roads of uh, border area. Uh, the government tried to put the obstacles in their way. But uh, the protesters, they, uh, they overcome everything. And you know, from 2020 to 2021, for, since one year, 
they stay in the footpath they stayed on the road they stay in the highway okay and ultimately the modi government says so we strike down the farmers bill 2020 you know na this happening in the contemporary society you all know na farmers bill so the protesters the strugglers these people are the people who keep changes in the society okay so the society can be changed by the two people the one is intellectual and second is protester you can see the history you can see the history and there are so many revolt either champaran satyagraha indigo revolt whenever the people try to get together and they put the protest they strike ultimately the things change either it's a labor union or anything okay so intellectual contribution in the emergence of sociology so student must know what is what are the intellectual intellectuals like pope log political philosopher montesquieu montesquieu given the theory of separation of power which is a very important political philosophy montesquieu rousseau voltaire they changed the psychology of people how they change actually understand the society first in europe especially in france there was monarchy system we will do french revolution in next class but i am telling you the some background okay so the france society was covered with the monarchy system and if we are talking about the monarchy system you know there is a one king or queen and they rule over their subject subject means the people common people the king or queen they live the luxurious life okay they are not responsible to pay the taxes but the beautiful thing in the west country is there is complete separation of church and state which means the state will not intervene in religion and religion will not intervene in the working of state but in india intervention is there in india politics is used in the name of religion the politician gets a vote with the name of uh, uh, dharma but in the west country there is a complete separation of religion and the state none of the two will intervene in each other this is called the western model of secularism in indian model of secularism is intervention is there and that is why communalism happened that is why here the hindu muslim game is the changing in the politics or changing in the society is a major playing the major role in the society in india but if we are talking about the west this thing is complete separation of power means complete separation of church and state okay so in the france the state one is church church is important church the uh, okay they uh, live the luxurious life they have all the amenities they are actually called as the uh, little god okay church is very important and second state is king or queen the state one or state second is not liable to pay any kind of tax but who will bear all the tax who will bear all the expenses who will bear the expenses of these two states that is by the common people state third the common people means from manual worker laborer doctor lawyer engineer middle class these all are called as common people so actually who is the sufferer the most backward is the sufferer hai na so in the monarchy system 
whatever the rule is implemented whatever the rules made by the king or queen the subjects have to follow that rule okay you know what the king or queen says in the france they says the king or queen is the god the king or queen is uh, uh, at most important the people were suffered with the hunger but they have to pay taxes to the king or queen they have to obey the king or queen they see their family members are dying but they are helpless because their psychology was we have to obey our king or queen see it is called as a mental slavery it is mental slavery why the mental slavery because the education was not common in the common people and then the intellectuals montesquieu rousseau voltaire they come into the picture whenever some people they are drinking the tea in the tea stroller the montesquieu came he read the book he says no king or queen is not the god the subjects are important and every king or queen has to follow and has to meet responsibility to uh, keep the responsibility of their subjects so if the state is happy the happy state means the happiness of common people so democracy is important it is need to understand the individual right of common man it is important that sovereignty of state is important it is important that fraternity we common people are not united we common people need to be united common people understand what is the important of importance of ours okay we need to understand that shelter food water the basic education is our right it is we are not on the mercy of king or queen we have not always keep requesting to the queen please give me one bread and the polish queen she gave the answer you are eating the bread why don't you take the cake this was the answer of queen interior of france these intellectuals they open the mind of common people by their high rise words that is why it uh, in 21st century you will learn this intellectual of mid 18th century they have actually the contribution the montesquieu say separation of power oh no voltaire rousseau they talk about the sovereignty of state to talk about the individual rights of the people to talk about the democracy they talk about the election process and once the election process comes into the picture the people understand yeah this is our right this is our state we are the common people we are paying the taxes but what we get nothing our family members are dying but the state is doing nothing hai na so once you are aware social change occurred okay so your exploitation is the only cause of your ignorance that's all so who is the actual culprit your ignorance that's all and once you are aware you will not exploit similar in the french society the common people were exploited because of their no education because of no awareness when the intellectuals come into the picture their awareness rise that is why after the industrial revolution when the society changed economically then political shift happen in 1799 okay the next sociologist saint simon agus pomte herbert spencer they are called as charles darwin they are called as evolutionary thinkers they are evolutionary because they understand the society because they put the real picture of society in front of people that what you are doing why you are not awakened the karl marx 
Karl Marx has a huge contribution in the capitalism economy. The Karl Marx talked about the exploitation of proletariat. He talked about, he was like very brief, very, he was like very sad with the exploitation and he himself suffered the poverty. His two children were died because of hungerness. He understand what is poverty. And that is why he have the mercy with the poor people. And that is why he says one day will come when these poor people, when the proletariat class will get together and they will reunion. They will make the labor union. And that was happened in the past. The labor union. But Karl Marx was very obsessed with the exploitation. And he had very hatredness with the social institution. And that is why he always criticized every social institution. Either it is a marriage, religion, education, anything in the society. He says this all thing is framed in the society. is only good for the capitalist class. is only surplus is the profit of the bourgeois class. But proletariat gets nothing. Proletariat only offer their labor, 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 the 10 hour more working and in return of it they get the few drops of salary which is nothing but to uh, difficult to sustain the maintenance of the family and family is actually the burden on the person. See, if I say the whole perspective of Karl Marx, you will somewhere you will feel Ah, he's right. But we all are living in the society. We have to maintain the social order. So marriage is important. Education is important. Everything is important. Okay. So Karl Marx have the huge role. And that is why, you know, the German government, they say, they put the seditious law on the Karl Marx. They say Karl Marx is Desh Drohi. You know what is the Desh Drohi? Karl Marx was uh, uh, put out from the country German. He was Desh Drohi. <laughs> because he always put the real picture of the bourgeois class. See, this class, the government is doing for the proletariat, what the happening is in the society. And once some, someone is saying these things, then people are aware, yes, we are exploiting then people get together, they understand their own importance and you know the capitalist become gets more profit because of the labor. Because labor is actually the architect of product. Yes or no? So capitalist class obviously, so the capitalist class they know the importance of labor. But labor don't know their own importance. And Karl Marx says the labor need to understand their own importance. And then one day will come when the labor union will happen. And that was happened in 1850. <laughs> That's why Karl Marx become more famous in the society. But he has a conflict perspective. He always do criticize of every social institution because he was... He suffered a lot. He hated with the social institution. And that's his psychology. What we can do. Nothing. Anna. So, Karl Marx was suffered with the illusion. Illusion means something which is not happened in real. What is the illusion? The Karl Marx says, one day, uh, today, the capitalists, they exploit the proletariat class. Then labor union will become, and after the labor union, the mazdoor work will become, the mazdoor society, proletariat society will become. And after the proletariat society, the justice will be done, then there was stateless society, means no king, no queen, no government, no common people, no uh, capitalist, no proletariat, no exploitation, nothing. Everyone is equal. So it is like in the economy what we say, when the demand is equal to supply in the market. This is completely illusion. So never demand or supply can never be equal. So similarly, the Karl Marx future prospect of the society 
that stateless society is actually this illusion, completely illusion. Okay. Then later on, feminists, 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 they also put contribution on the emphasizing of uh, women. Anna? That's why uh, today, whatever the policy, the social uh, law and order is making, that they also keep thinking about the women too. Anna? Earlier, it, is, it was not happened. The women is considered a second gender. The women is only for producing the child. The women is only for take care of home. That's all. But in contemporary society and also the contribution of feminists, they put the focus on the suffering of women. And that is why the government has to make some law for the women, has to make the uh, commissions for the women and to and for the welfare of women. So, reservation, National Women Commission in India, whatever you say, that is because those people, they put focus on the suffering of women too. Okay. And once you focus on something, then the thing will be highlighted and it, the change occur. Anna? See, till 2015, would nobody think about transgenders are also human beings? Transgenders have no right to job. But after the petition of uh, Lakshmi, okay, uh, she fought the case in Supreme Court and Supreme Court says, yes, transgender have the right to job under Article 21. See, this is the change. So, intellectuals are very important in the society to make the changes in the society. Okay, you understand? We know Sajin, Ankita Singh. Okay, Chan. So, shall we start by right? intellectual contribution in emergence of sociology? So, in Europe, intellectuals or in life social thinkers have played major role intellectuals or enlightened social thinker have played major role in Europe's social change. Social change. Please do write. Yes, everybody. Okay. Next paragraph. Social thinkers like of the impasses on individual right and the responsibility in the society responsibility in the society hmm. They, they emphasis on social origin and, and pattern of society with 
empirical study this is sociological word you have to keep writing in the sociological keyword not in a common way okay empirical study what is the meaning of empirical empirical means scientific study okay empirical study hmm Uh, sorry, Ankita, what you are saying? Names. You are talking about these names. Anybody else? Actually, I did not understand. There is some fluctuations in the voice. Anybody else? Ah. Yes. Uh, okay. This is the topic. Important, most important topic. Most important topic. Intellectual contribution in the emergence of sociology. Okay. Done. Social thinkers like Hobbes, Locke, Rose, they emphasis on individual rights. What they tell to the people that you have the individual rights. Okay, earlier the people don't know about their own right. They understand that you have the right, you are the responsibility of king, not the king is responsibility of yours. Okay, what is your responsibility as a citizen? Okay, in the society, they emphasize on social origin. They tell the people that what, how the society begin. They tell how, what is the pattern of society. Okay, with the empirical studies means with their scientific study. They did not say with the their own thinking what the uh, Rosso suppose. No, they understand the society with their scientific thinking. Okay. With their scientific study. Done? Mm -hmm. Great. The emphasis on challenge of modernity in West society. The impasses on challenge of modernity means the changes in society. What are the challenges? They also they also put stress that the study the empirical empirical study of society created and sociology should be subject of subject of study. Okay, this is the viewpoint of Hope's Locke and Rosa. Hope Locke and Rosa. Done. Montesquieu. Okay. The empirical study of society is needed and the sociology should be the subject of study. Okay. Or the subject, it should be a discipline. Yes. Hmm. Where, where are you left? See guys, this topic came in 2021, 20 marks question. 
this is very important please remember all my classes by heart by your mind okay so these things are very important once you go through with the previous year paper na then you will be very happy you will say ah we have done we have done okay but please revise 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 sociology 10 times done okay montesquieu voltaire saint simon saint simon august pomites our political philosophy our political philosopher montesquieu 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 stressed upon the separation of stress upon the separation of power separation of power Montesquieu stressed upon the separation of power <clears throat> rosso voltaire press upon a force individual rights individual rights religion the religion toleration religion toleration family system education in the society education in the society okay Montesquieu stressed upon the separation of power. Rousseau, Voltaire stressed upon individual rights, religion, toleration, family system, education in the society. Okay. Next paragraph. Any anything else? Okay. Next paragraph. Sociologist. Sociologist like Saint Simon. अगस्त फोंटे हर्बर्ट स्पेंसर हर्बर्ट स्पेंसर दे कीप राइटिंग दे कैप राइटिंग दे कैप राइटिंग द सोशल एवोल्यूशन and they kept writing the social evolution and and stages of stages of society in sociological perspective in sociological okay next point matlab is with this these thinkers are positive this thing i tell you na in i will tell you the branches of sociologist in sec, uh, second chapter okay so in second chapter you will understand 
पॉजिटिविस्ट एंड नॉन पॉजिटिविस्ट सोशोलॉजिस्ट ओके सो अगस्त फोम से हर्बर्ट स्पेंसर सेम साइमन दीज आर द पॉजिटिविस्ट थिंकर पॉजिटिविस्ट थिंकर मीन्स वॉट एवर दे आर गिविंग द सोशोलॉजिकल परस्पेक्टिव डेट इज बेस्ड ऑन द साइंटिफिक स्टडी ओके एंड नॉन पॉजिटिविस्ट थिंकर वॉट एवर दे टेल इन देयर रिसर्च दे अंडरस्टैंड द ह्यूमन फीलिंग पॉजिटिविस्ट थिंकर दे स्टडी दे स्टडी द सोसाइटी विथ scientific empiricism with scientific empiricism these thinkers are positivist thinkers they study the society with scientific empiricism with scientific empiricism observation observation next paragraph the thinker like karl marx have huge role in the highlight in the highlight of <laughs> the thinker like Uh, the thinker like karl marx have huge role in the highlight of exploitation exploitation of proletariat class exploitation of proletariat class comma class struggle i shall use the next slide class struggle class struggle historical materialism and alienation of and alienation of proletariat class proletariat you know na proletariat is the german word and proletariat means labor class okay proletariat means labor class <clears throat> then thinker like herbert spencer herbert spencer on face they use word social organism social organism they use word social organism organism for study of for study of evolution of society evolution of society okay structural structural functional like Emily Durkheim, Emily Durkheim, Frankfurt Parson, they stress upon social. They stress upon you. You understand that which thinker give the contribution of what? Okay, which intellectual give the contribution of what? This is what you have to do. Keep writing in your paper if the question came. Okay, so um, structural functionalists like Emily Durkheim, Talbot Parson, they stress upon they stress upon social order and integration. and integration of 
society social order and integration of society because these two thinkers they are obsessed with how the society will always keep in order they don't want the hostility they did not criticize the things but they want the social order is important okay so structural functionalists like emily durkin talbot parcel they stress upon social order and integration of society they studies religion they studies religion social stratification social stratification social stratification social stratification means the inequality in the society okay social stratification they studies religion social stratification division of labor division of labor division of labor okay division of labor social stratification okay and religion comma family structure comma education system in the society okay so this is the contribution of emily durkheim and talcott pass okay done great family had grown to highlight highlight the suffering highlighted the suffering of women in social institution women women suffering life feminization of poverty feminization of poverty from a sexual harassment sexual harassment okay and domestic violence domestic violence asectra are the social evil due to which due to which women suffer okay so feminist they highlighted the women then great interpretive interpretive socialist like peter burger like you have to write like this the social thinker name what his contribution okay so it is not acceptable that you only write the name you have to write the name with their contribution that like i wrote august comte herbert spencer have the role in the study of evolution of society montesquieu also have the study the philosophy of politics in the society emily durkheim talcott parson has the study of social settings or the integration in the society okay so interpretive sociology is the another branch of sociology one is positive second is non positive okay so interpretive sociologists are also called as non positive
नॉन पॉजिटिव सोशियोलॉजिस्ट ओके लाइक पीटर बर्गर मैक्स वेबर पीटर बर्गर मैक्स वेबर इंटरप्रेटर है सोशियोलॉजिस्ट लाइक पीटर बर्गर मैक्स वेबर दे दे अंडरस्टैंड दे अंडरस्टैंड दे अंडरस्टैंड द रिलीजन सी वॉट द मैक्स वेबर एज डन ही ट्राई टू एक्सप्लेन द सोशल एक्शन ब्यूरोक्रेसी ओके सिविल सर्वेस because his father was judge and later on his father become politician so he have the some gene of his father so that is why he was very interested in the civil services bureaucracy understanding and authority okay so these type of studies done by the max weber religion so interpretive is sociologist or known positivist like peter burger max weber they understand the uh, bureaucratization they understand the authority comma bureaucratization structure comma religion and capitalism religion and capitalism in the society in the then then okay so we have wrote uh, evolutionary thinkers contribution classical thinkers contribution montesquieu rousseau lok hob saint simon agus ponte herbert spencer uh, functionalists like durkheim talpot parson interpretivists like max weber so now all all social thinkers from classical from classical to feminist okay from classical to feminist they profoundly put huge contribution put huge contribution they put profoundly uh they profoundly put huge contribution in social setting in social setting and and understand the so the study of society and understand the study of society should be discipline should be discipline discipline means it should be branch of study should be discipline should be discipline called sociology now you understand hmm? okay so all social thinkers from classical to feminist they perform put huge contribution in social settings and understand the study of society okay so please one more thing i will say please keep in mind the social thinkers are responsible to keep study of society that what is the real picture of society they are not responsible for the solution of the problem in the society okay so the solution is not the study of sociology okay this is what the mistake done by the saint simon please to write done <clears throat> great so now the next is homework 
uh, earlier I gave you two question okay so this is the question third which came in UPSC main paper for 2020 okay so question this question is your homework in daily class I will give you one homework one question okay every day I will cover one or two topics it depends upon the length of topic okay so please do start writing from today if you have sent in the last class and please be coordinate with the uh, your friends who attended the class okay so the question is how did how did intellectuals how did intellectual forces how did intellectual forces lead to the lead lead to the emergence of sociology lead to the emergence of sociology discuss discuss okay paper first 150 words 10 marks so this is today's homework Guys, do you want to attain 300 plus marks in sociology and or you want only 200 to 50 marks? Do you want 300 plus or 250? Obviously 300 plus. For the 300 plus, one needs to cover 99.9% .9 of flavors. Second thing is at least 10 times revision. Third is 2013 to 2023. Practice PYQ. 100% guarantee. You will get 300 plus. So, are you ready? Previous slide. Okay. Actually, Ankita, when I hear your voice, na, I get some fluctuations. So, I did not understand what you are saying. Okay? So, this is question. How did intellectual forces lead to the emergence of social media? Yes. Okay? So, This is our first slide. Today's topic is social change in Europe. I said there are basically three things happened in the Europe. That's why social change happened. The one is industrial revolution. One is industrial revolution. Second is French revolution. And third is intellectual contribution. So today we have done intellectual contribution. In tomorrow's class we will do Industrial Revolution and French Revolution. In the next class, we will make the discipline called Sociology. Then over, first topic has been completed and approximately 30 to 40 marks question came from the first point. First topic, sometime 10 marks, sometime 20, sometime 30. Okay. Depend upon year to year. So this is first slide. So we write some brief introduction okay for basic understanding then uh, we try to understand the intellectual contribution in the emergence of sociology you can do the screenshot too if you want okay so this is how we understand Montesquieu, Voltaire, Saint Simon. Okay, you do. You can do one more thing in your answer writing, like Hobbes, Rousseau. So you put the underline na. Here you can do underline like Montesquieu, Voltaire, Saint Simon, or something. So the examiner put focus. Oh, he writes the thinker, and this is what the contribution. So it is very easy for the examiner because your paper will be checked by the 80 year old professor. 75 year old professor so so try to make 
writing in easy way not in a complex way Saint Simon, Thomas Sowell, Herbert Spencer. Okay. Okay. These are the keywords. Structural functionalism. Feminist. Like Levi Oakley. Like Levi Oakley, feminist like Levi Oakley. Okay, highlighted the suffering of women in social institutions, like feminization of poverty. Example will be happy. Okay, interpretive is like Peter Berger and Maxwell. Okay, so this is the ending of. Okay. So today we have done the one topic. So guys, please tell me uh, how's the class? Yes, you understand? You understand? Anji, Sahin, great. Actually, I did not see in your faces. I'm curious to see that to whom I am teaching. <laughs> Okay, you can put the video in tomorrow class. So I'm not forcing you on today because actually uh, I always want to see to whom I'm teaching. I understand you with the name we know, Gracie, Ankita only. So it's my curiosity to see the faces of my students. Okay, it's my curiosity. Okay. Okay, guys. So, shall we leave? Done? Okay, guys. See you tomorrow. Good evening. Good night. Shabbat. Thank you. Thank you.